Well, it's, uh, what, February 14th, and uh, about eight months ago, actually May, I took five gallons of syrup and I put it in a bourbon barrel, an empty bourbon barrel. And it's been in the bourbon barrel up until now. And uh, yesterday I emptied the bourbon barrel and now I'm bottling it in these cute little flasks that uh, scream out bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. So I, I heated the syrup up over in my uh, kettle over here, ran it through the press, and the press filters it um, very nicely, gets all the uh, particulate out. Uh, we use uh, diatomaceous earth mixed in with the syrup and it goes through this press. Um, you can see uh, the pressure has forced some of the syrup out around the filter paper. And there's a mess I made. And then that goes into my bottler. Um, my bottler here um, has a water at the bottom that's heated up and then it keeps the syrup up to, a, right now it's about 190, which is a good bottling temperature. And I have this little spigot, and I simply use the spigot to fill the bottle. Trying not to spill too much, but I, I do have a nozzle on there that allows for the filling of these small neck bottles. Put a cap on it, turn it upside down and sterilize the uh, top of the cap, even though I sterilized the uh, caps. And then I grab the next one. And we'll do this until we use up all the syrup, which will be before we use up all the bottles. I have five gallons worth of bottles, or at least bottles that will hold five gallons, but you lose some in the process. And my assistant, my very capable assistant, is trying to give you a better look at what we're doing here. This is the way we fill the uh, uh, 12 and 16 ounce bottles. And um, if Oshi's lucky, um, some of the syrup spills, which invariably it does, and then he gets to clean it up. So there's something for everybody. So we will um, we'll get all this bottled up, we'll get some labels on it, and we'll have some bourbon barrel aged maple syrup for you to buy and enjoy and remember all the pr proceeds go to the North American Heritage Association the Indian support group in South Dakota primarily in South Dakota and away we go Next, uh, next place we visit will be up north when we're starting to gather the sap for the 2022 sugaring season. <laughs>